Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, every tongue confess him, King of glory now. Tis the Father's pleasure we should call him Lord, who from the beginning was the mighty word. Humbled for a reason, to receive a name from the lips of sinners, unto whom he came. Faithfully he bore it spotless to the last, brought it back victorious, when from death he passed, bore it up triumphant with his human light, through all ranks of creatures to the central height, to the throne of Godhead, to the Father's breast, filled it with the glory of that perfect rest. In your hearts enthrone him, there let him subdue all that is not holy, all that is not true. May your voice entreat him in temptation's hour. Let his will enfold you in his light and power. Brothers, this Lord Jesus shall return again with his Father's glory o'er the earth to reign. He is God the Savior. He is Christ the Lord, ever to be worshipped, ever blessed, adored. May the peace of Christ fill your hearts with joy. Alleluia. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem, pray, Peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces. Peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say, peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When you rose from the dead, Lord Jesus, you formed the church into your new body and made of it the new Jerusalem, united in your spirit. Give us peace in our day. Make all nations come to your church to share in the gifts in fellowship, that they may render you thanks without end and come to your eternal city. May the peace of Christ fill your hearts with joy. Alleluia. With your own blood, you have redeemed us for God. Alleluia. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness. For this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchmen count on daybreak and Israel on the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel, indeed, he will redeem from all its iniquity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Listen with compassion to our prayers, Lord. The forgiveness of sins is yours. Do not look on the wrong we have done, but grant us your merciful kindness. With your own blood, you have redeemed us for God. Alleluia. Was it not necessary for Christ to suffer and so enter into his glory? Alleluia. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in, 
born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Was it not necessary for Christ to suffer and so enter into his glory? Hallelujah. A reading from 1 Peter, chapter 2. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people he claims for his own to proclaim the glorious works of the one who called you from darkness into the marvelous light. Once you were no people, but now you are God's people. Once there was no mercy for you, but now you have found mercy. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the gate, says the Lord. Whoever enters through me shall be saved and find pasture. Hallelujah. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am the gate, says the Lord. Whoever enters through me shall be saved and find pasture. Hallelujah. In rising from the dead, Christ destroyed death and restored life. Let us cry out to him, saying, Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. You are the stone rejected by the builders, which became the chief cornerstone. Make us living stones in the temple of your church. You are the faithful and true witness, the firstborn from the dead. Make your church bear constant witness to yourself. You alone are the bridegroom of the church, born from your wounded side. Make us reveal to the world the love of your bridegroom and bride. You are the first and the last. You, are, you were dead and are alive. Keep those who have been baptized faithful unto death, that they may receive the crown of victory. Light and lamp of God's holy city, shine on our friends who have died, that they may reign forever. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer our prayer to the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty and ever-living God, Give us new strength from the courage of Christ our Shepherd. And lead us to join the saints in heaven, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. 
glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.